Hello my friends, welcome to Forex PKS. So today is uh, 18 of August, today is Wednesday. Let's check out the intro. Disclaimer, be advised that I am not a professional financial consultant or advisor. I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Wow, yesterday big gain on the USD uh. so uh, it was uh, a little bit shocking due to the the CPI number didn't do well okay but never mind uh, let's check out the news a uh, call retail sales not CPI number sorry uh. the call retail sales actually for yesterday data USD didn't do well uh, I think but the uh, <coughs> possible the the Yesterday, uh, this morning, right? Which is also, uh, yeah, this morning, most likely, okay, we got a very strong speech uh, from uh, Fed Chair Powell, so I haven't get the information, any update on that information yet. But that is likely the case, okay? But we, we do have an industrial production up uh, on uh, USD, but retail sales drop, uh, that is not good for USD, but USD do go up strongly, uh, okay? But one of the reason is because okay, uh, one of the reason right uh, that I read why uh, the USD is strong because it's a safe haven asset right now uh, the the world economy uh, yeah uh, could be facing a slowdown due to the delta strain uh, so the market is still worried now it's something like a uh, possible we are moving into a risk off sentiment uh, when we go to risk off sentiment of course okay people will go to the safe haven right which is uh, gold, USD, all those things, okay? So that's why we see a surge in uh, USD. That's probably uh, that's the reason. And uh, also, this is also another one, okay? This is so unexpected. As I said yesterday, if the NZD, right, the the uh, the Bank of New Zealand, uh, okay, if they did not raise the, the interest rate as expected, right, this will be big, uh, okay? A big, uh, big for this, uh, uh, New Zealand dollar so today so confirm uh, they didn't increase the rate okay so this is a big impact okay a uh, negative impact uh, okay negative impact to the this would be a negative impact to the uh, NZD okay So <coughs> today in the evening we are coming. Uh, we also got a uh, CPN number for Britain and CAT uh, coming in. Uh, so these are the important ones. Uh, uh, also we also tomorrow. Okay, uh, this this tonight uh, actually uh, tonight, or, or we can call it uh, in the early morning of tomorrow. We can also get a FOMC meeting. So this one uh, USD. Okay, there will still be vol volatil volatility uh, for USD. Uh, and. Uh, Okay, so USD, there still be direction change, all these things coming in, we are not too sure, okay, due to all this, okay, today, okay, we see Fed uh, Chair Colin Powell, uh, sorry, Jerome Powell speaks, okay, we strengthen the USD, okay, maybe this one can weaken the USD, we are not too, okay, we are not sure yet, so we have to wait and see, but currently looking at the current situation, right, USD is strong uh, due to the, okay, uh, Delta strain of uh, virus, which uh, is affecting the, uh, economy in Europe and also in Asia. Okay, let's go to the DXY. Okay, DXY. As I said, DXY. Okay. Uh, uh, we can't call this a double top yet. Okay, and the price did did when did go up. Uh, but around uh, it did not come to test this uh, ninety two point two six. Okay, the price came back down and now came back up. Look like a force break. Uh. okay, force break at the top, force break at the bottom. So this one is quite dangerous. Uh. Okay, the price came out here, cannot stay above this resistance, right? So 
So it's a false break. Then the price came back down, cannot, okay, cannot, uh, cannot stay below the resistance, okay, cannot stay above support, cannot stay below the resistance. So this one, okay, it's a false break, both sides, okay. So this one looks like, looks very likely, right, okay. Let me see. There's still a resistance over here, right? Let me draw out. Let me draw out the resistance first. <coughs> okay, this this looks like a one one two three top, huh? <coughs> one two three top. You check the four hours, right? I'll show you. Okay, one, two, three, continuation. Okay, so this is very important. The price, whether it can break 93.2 or not, it's very important, this resistance, okay? If the price can break through, one, two, three, continuation. Okay, <coughs> opportunity to buy. If price cannot break through, one, two, three, reversal. Okay, one two three top or one two three reversal. Okay, so we have to wait and see. Okay, uh, for the one two three uh continuation, right? We need a four hour, at least a four hour to break above this uh previous high over here. Let me adjust this line. Uh, this line a bit should be a little bit lower. Okay, so we need a okay a four hour break. Okay, above here. Then only, okay, we can call it a one, two, three continuation. Huh? Then there's a short term buy opportunity towards 93.3. Uh? Okay, 93.45 or, okay, higher. Towards 94.21. Okay, so there's a possibility. But there's still a resistance over here that you need to break through. Uh, this is a bit dangerous here. Okay, the breakthrough over here, uh, this, the gap is quite small. Okay, I would be, I would be, I would be uh, happier, right, to trade this. If the price go through 93, okay, 0.45, go through here is, uh, is, okay, I will be more, Happier to trade this, okay. Trading the breakthrough over breakout over here is a bit still a bit dangerous. It's just too small this window, right? It's just too small to trade anything, okay. Still a bit too small, to trade anything. So uh, okay, preferably wait for a break below nine above ninety three point four five, okay. It's a better, okay, better area, okay. It's a better area to trade. Okay, that is DXY, Euro USD. <coughs> okay, Euro USD doing the same thing. One, two, three. Okay, so the price haven't really go through. We need a a four hour, right? They go through this one, huh? One, two, three. Breakdown. Okay. Uh, continuation. One, two. Unable to break, come back down, reversal, right? Reversal, come back down to here. Okay, so uh, we have to wait and see what happened. You see, we, we, we couldn't get a four hour close uh, below this. Okay, so we want to wait for a four hour close. Then only there's a possibility of a sell opportunity, okay, towards uh, S3. Okay, so this one I mark red. Okay, so this one got chance, possibility. Okay. Chance to sell towards support three, so this is a possible trade over here. Okay, a break of uh, support two, uh, 1.17067. Okay, a four hour break. 
below possible okay uh, sell trade over here okay because it's already broken here uh, the previous low over here okay previous low over here then high there's a high probability the price might come to test support three yes djpy still in sideways so we are not trading this okay this is just two sideways to trade AUD, USD, AUD, AUD, USD, we want to wait for a retest, uh, okay, so this one, no retest, so no opportunity to uh, to go in after the break. Okay, so we are still waiting for a retest, probably, okay, the price come back to support one, okay, re rebound, uh, okay, we get pin bar over here, okay, so opportunity to sell towards S2, support 2. And even support three, very big move. Uh, yesterday, very big move due to the okay. One is a COVID, uh, COVID threat uh, in uh, in uh, this uh, COVID threat in Australia. <coughs> okay, possible wait for retest. It's better to wait for retest, retest resumption. Okay, the price already uh, already quite extended over here. Uh. Okay, if we buy over here, if we sell over here, it's it's quite dangerous. Sell over here is quite dangerous. Okay. Wait and see, maybe they, they, they will do a consolidation over here, okay, before the price go lower, okay, but I will wait for a rebound, okay, a retracement is uh, better to, to, to go in uh, for a, a, a Australian dollar uh, USD. Okay, USD cat already broke through our resistance one, okay, uh, resistance one, so we are looking to buy, uh, okay, now the price already broke through, I we want to see a retest and resumption for a buy, uh, okay, for a buy, uh, 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 trade towards a uh, resistant to 12744 okay so a uh, uh, a retest resumption at 1.26015 will be our opportunity to buy okay because the price already broke through uh, okay we already broke through our uh, resistant and we have a gap uh, okay we have a uh, window to play we got uh, okay a window of a uh, Let's see how many pips over here possible. Okay, hundred thirty one pips, uh, Okay, uh, or possible. Okay, we hundred thirty one pips to play. Uh, hundred hundred thirty pips uh, around. Okay, so there's a possibility for a buy trade over here. Wait for a retest and resumption, uh, Okay, so you can't see it. You go to four hour. Okay, how the retest resumption will look like? Okay, the price broke through. Retest resumption, right? One, two, three, continuation. Uh. So, USD cat also, we're gonna mark it red. Australia dollar no longer, or is dollar? Yesterday we, we missed some trade. Uh. So, pound, pound also big drop today. Okay, big drop. So, uh, a bit. Okay, so this one pound is going up, so we want to wait for a retest or support one. Okay, rejection for a sell opportunity uh, over here. Okay, support one, or even the, the price could go lower to a resistant one. We see a, a bearish price section, we want to sell uh, either at support one and R1. So support one is 1.38014, resistant one is 1 1.33, 1 1.38842. Okay, so we missed this one uh, yesterday. Okay, we missed this one. Okay, uh, I went to the get, I went to get my vaccine jab yesterday. So uh, during this time, they got a break uh, a, a breakout. Uh, okay, of this uh, consolidation. So there's an uh, opportunity. I, I I spoke. I mentioned this on, even on the Sunday and I think Monday video. So uh, if you guys call it congratulations. Okay, already hit target. Okay, so this one we have to wait and see now. It has a uh, it at the price it at is uh and you shall not pass uh, okay resistant area 
So we want to wait for a clean break, retest resumption downwards only us. Sell opportunity or the price come back down to resistance one rejection sell opportunity uh, over here and over here. Okay, S one and a uh, resistance one. This trading view is just fantastic, right? You see, I can move everything. <laughs> trading view is fantastic. Yeah. So, you guys want to open trading view? You can. I got the link over here, but this is not a clickable link. If you want a clickable link, right, you can get it here. So, you go to my video right at the bottom here. You can see the description over here. So, you got. I got a link to the. Open a new forex account. If you haven't have an account yet, you can use uh, open a forex account. Uh, this is Okta Forex, okay, which is uh, one of the uh, one of the broker that I'm using here. Okay, you can always check out using this Okta. Uh, and or you can uh, or you can open a trading view account over here. You just click the link, right? Trading view account, uh. Okay, trading trading view account. This is a pro account. So this one, right? This is a trading view that I'm using. Uh, okay, so trading view. Basically, initially, begin in the beginning, I was using MetaTrader. Okay, MetaTrader MT4, MT5. Okay, for for my trading. But you just from from the from the MT4, it's okay. I'm not saying that they are no good. MT5, I'm not saying they are no good. Okay, but once you once you try this one, right? Once you try this uh, trading view, right, you are never going back <laughs> to the Octa uh, to the uh, MT4, uh, okay. So I do my research over here, okay. But I, uh, but I trade in the, but I do my uh, uh, a trade inside the, okay, inside the MT4 using the uh, Octa FX account. Uh, I also have others account. Uh, one of the account that I use is Octa. I also use uh, IG, okay. So. Uh, Okay, remember if you want to open an account, you haven't have an account, you want to try it. Okay, click my click the link below here. Okay, for uh, open a new forex account, and uh, or you want to open a trading view account. Okay, click here. Okay, you can you can still use the free one trading view. There's a free version. You go to tradingview.com, register. You can get a free version. But free version we have a lot of advertisement coming out. You know, and a lack of uh, some of the function. But it's still okay to use. Uh, but if you want to go pro, better use the pro version. Uh. Okay. So NZD USD. Okay, we want to wait for a rebound. Uh, if the price come back down to R1, we want to wait for a pin bar. We we done this before here and here, right? Okay, so we want to have a sell opportunity over here. Or the price goes through, uh, Okay, the price goes through clean break above uh below support one, retest resumption downwards. Okay, we want to go for another sell trade. Go. Go has strengthened uh, due to the okay due to the this one, the resurgence of the uh, COVID nineteen uh, the Delta strain right so the threat now uh, to the market, which turned to a risk on market now looks like it's turning into a risk off market so when risk off market the USD and the safe haven uh, USD JPY, and also uh go should strengthen uh. okay go is getting stronger and stronger we uh, we actually we thought that the price would could could get rejected over here right support one. Okay, one seven six zero. Uh, which is the okay, which is the resistant long term resistant line over here, right? But it did not. Uh, so it goes through. Once it goes through resistant one, we will be bullish. Okay, once it go through resistant one, we will be bullish on uh go again. Uh. so this one bit and see. Okay, so uh SPI so SPI weaken uh, So uh this one. This uh remember last week we got this uh dovish uh, uh sentiment coming out uh, coming out the, uh, out of this uh this one monitoring policy uh, early this week not last week okay monetary policy meeting they, we got a dovish sentiment coming out of this okay then added with the New Zealand also did did not increase their official rate right so they are you know you New Zealand and uh, Australia they are economy okay are somewhere related. Somewhat related, 
Okay, so we see a drop on Australia dollar USD. So this one we want to wait for price of daily went through uh support one seven five one four. So likely you want to wait for a rebound uh, at support two uh, seven three nine four a rebound. Okay, at this area possible. Okay, we are waiting for us buy trade. So this one no flag, unflag. Okay, we got this one. U A Euro USD possible a sell trade here. USD can possible buy trade. Let's see a Dex. Okay, Dex. Okay, we are waiting for a uh, retest and resumption. Ah, uh, okay, retest and resumption. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, break above. Okay. Uh. 1, 2, 3 continuation. Uh. Okay, so we're waiting for it. So the price haven't retest the bottom, maybe. Okay, let me check. Oh, I see. Okay, this one we have to, you shall not pass, we have to move it up already. Uh. Okay, so it already retest. Okay, so due to the, okay, it make two extreme high over here, right? So this one no longer. Okay, we had to adjust, uh, okay, our trend line according to the market. Uh. Okay. So this is good, okay. The price will retest, okay. So we wait for a breakout for a buy opportunity, uh. okay. So this one, another trade possibility over here. Look at the four hour. Okay, so okay, one, two, three. Okay, the break of this get opportunity to. Buy, uh. Nasdaq. Okay, Nasdaq now is sideways. We can't we can't trade the breakout uh, over this uh, such a uh, this kind of sideways price action price action. Okay, we can't trade this. We need to find a break. Okay, a breakout. Retest and resumption only. We are going to trade this. Uh, the, we are not going to trade 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 the breakout. Okay, due to the okay consolidation over here. Uh, a long term consolidation, uh, okay. So we want to trade uh, either or uh, or we get pin bar over here, okay. At uh, system one one four one four eight six nine, okay. Then possible we can open a buy trade over here or the price breakthrough, uh, okay, for a buy trade. Uh, breakthrough retest, sorry, uh, breakthrough retest resumption for a buy trade. Dow Jones. Okay, Dow Jones one two three possible. Okay, one two three trade one uh one two three continuation. Okay, so there's still a possibility for Dow Jones. Okay, you look 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 at the four hours. A bit choppy. Okay, one two three. Okay, still possible. Okay, one. Two, three, break. Okay, so this one still, uh, still possible. Have to wait for it. See whether it can break through. Okay, one, two, three, break. Okay, once the price break through, uh, three, five, five, nine, four. Okay, possible buy opportunity. S&P, okay, S&P, so the price is coming back to test uh, resistance over here.
Okay, price, uh, we test R2, uh, okay? One, two, three, break. Okay, so a break above here will be another opportunity to buy. Uh. Okay, you can see the one hour. If you can't see four hours, see the one hour chart. So it's one, two, three, break above. Okay, possible opportunity to buy. Uh. Okay, so this one, let's wait and see. Okay, or deeper retracement, okay, or deeper retracement towards uh, resistance one. Okay, we got a pin bar over here, possible opportunity to buy, okay, or a break above this one, okay, opportunity to buy. Uh. Bitcoin, Bitcoin having a correction over here, this one could might drop even lower, uh. okay, might drop back to here, okay, 40,000 uh, to retest the 40,000 before it res resume or come back down. If it come back down, then it'll be a we have a danger uh, that the price, uh, this one could be a false break, uh, okay, that the price could even go lower. Uh. So there's uh, some people saying that this, this could be a dead cat bounce, uh, okay. So we just still want to look, we want to wait and see the 40,000, okay, whether if it comes to 40,000, what happen? Ethereum, okay, Ethereum is still holding quite strong, uh, okay, the less retracement, uh, the support is at here. 22,864, okay, and the next one is uh, 2,221. If it goes below 2,221, then this could be, uh, as, as we said, a dead, dead cat bounce, uh, okay? But looking at the news, looking at the, you know, I, I read a lot of articles in Bloomberg, in you know, Forbes, all those, they are now talking positive about Bitcoin, uh, about uh, cryptocurrency, okay? When they want the price to go down to the lowest, absolute lowest, you see uh, all the all the article coming out of, of this uh, mainstream media is negative. But now we are looking at the uh, mainstream media actually starting to talk positive about uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, so, so the odds of the crypto cryptocurrency you know go down to the lowest point is uh, a bit. It's very low. Uh, looks like the the even the media is trying to. Uh, it's bullish on the uh, cryptocurrency, uh, so uh, looks looks good uh, actually uh, for me. Like consumer having adjustment over here, okay. Uh, so if you, if you drop below one hundred forty five, then could be okay. This could be a dead cat bounce. Uh. SRP, SRP also okay having a correction. So all the crypto is having a correction, okay. So we have to wait and see, okay. So our opportunity today lie on a uh, euro USD. Okay, the break below support to USD cat. Okay, a uh, retest of a uh, resist R one resistant one and resumption. The DAX. Okay, retest of uh, R one. Okay, a breakthrough. The Dow Jones. Okay, retest of resistant one and a uh, resumption breakthrough. And S and P. Okay, retest of a uh, resistant one or resistant two. Okay, breakthrough or. Uh, or a pin bar somewhere here over at a resistant one, okay, possible opportunity to buy, okay. Okay, so that's it for today. So remember like and subscribe, uh, okay, like and subscribe this. Yesterday I was a bit late because uh, we, I got my vaccine jab, okay, so today we're going to do it uh, earlier. So remember to subscribe to my channel, like and share. Remember, share this with your friends, share this in your Twitter, share this in your Facebook, okay. We want to grow, grow this community, so we got a strong community behind you, okay, to, uh, to to share my experience and uh, uh, and also okay share my research uh, okay for you guys uh, uh, for you guys uh, to help you guys uh, in your own uh, tweet, uh, own uh, forex uh, journey uh, okay forex investment journey okay so remember check out my Twitter after this stay safe from COVID bye bye.